what is up people how's it going back again with another video and in this video we are going to learn how to use banner using python's kiwi and kiwi md okay so guys let me show the demo if i click for three line banner here we got a banner of three line and if i click for two line banner okay and let me click for one line banner okay so i hope you got the demonstration now i'm going to make this project from scratch so guys let's get started okay so here i got a blank python file and a blank kb file okay so let me start the coding first of all i want to import md app okay so from kb md dot app import md app after that from kiwi dot lang import builder so i'm going to load this ui.kb file in my main class using this builder module okay now from now i want to um, import a layout okay let's say fruit layout so from kiwi dot uix dot fruit layout import fruit layout now I want to create a class. Let's call it as demo, and this class is going to inherit from Fruit Layout. Now let me pass this class. After that, I want to cre create the main class, which is going to inherit from MDF class. Let me add the build function, and here I want to load the UI.KB file. So builder dot Load file ui.kb. Now let me set the theme theme class dot primary palette equal till. You can use whatever you want. There are lots of themes. I'm using till. Now let me return the demo class. Okay and finally i want to run my main class okay main dot run using this run method okay now in my ui.kb file i want to load this demo class okay so now let me add md banner widget and here i want to set the id as banner because i want to refer this md banner widget with this banner attribute okay now i want to call the scroll view class and let me set the id as scroll now one thing to explain i want to show the banner over the scroll view okay so here i want to pass a attribute called over widget and i want to pass or i want to show this banner over the scroll view class so i need to so i need to pass this reference okay okay so i hope you got the idea what i actually trying to do okay now i want to add a toolbar okay and that's set an id i want to set the height of, of my scroll view class okay so for that i need to uh, add a toolbar because i want to subtract the toolbar height i want to subtract the toolbar height from the total window so that's uh, my scroll view class that means the list will be uh, shown in a very elegant way okay so scroll view now uh, in this toolbar let me set the title let's say banner and then let me set the elevation okay
and here I want to set the left action items and it will be in a list let me pass the icon it will be dots vertical now I want to add a lambda function okay nothing nothing will happen so I just passed the non attribute or non keyword and then I want to set the position okay the position will be at the top of the screen okay now in my scroll view class I want to set the height of the scroll view widget so I want to subtract the toolbar site from the total window so I want to call the window and then the height attribute then I want to subtract toolbar dot height okay now let me add a grid layout because I want to add lists and here I want to set columns and the columns will be one okay and let me set some padding let's say 10 dp and here I want to set the spacing let's say 10 dp I hope that's good enough and now I want to add list item so here I want to add one line list item you can use whatever you want so one line list item after that I want to set the text now here it is going to be three line banner and here I want to bind on release method whenever a user is going to press this list uh, then this banner widget then the banner type is going to be three line and let me set the banner text the banner text will be here let me pass the forward slash and here I want to add a list and in this list first of all I want to add a forward slash after that here I want to add the text okay this is an example of three line banner okay now here I want to add a comma after that a forward slash and then I want to copy these and paste it here and here okay now I want to set the left action button and the right action button so banner dot right action here I want to pass the cancel button and then I want to bind the lambda function okay let me pass none because nothing should be happened whenever you use this press cancel button okay you can add any kind of function uh, according to your project okay so banner dot left action here let me pass the close word and then I want to bind the lambda function okay so banner dot height that means whenever user is going to press the close button then the banner is going to hide out okay and now banner dot show okay 
Okay, now let me run this bannerYT.py file and let's see. Is everything okay or not? Okay. Here I didn't at the position, okay. So you guys I made a mistake. I need to set the size hint of my y y axis, okay? It will be none. And now I want to run my file again. Okay, if I click for three line banner, here we got a banner of three line. Let me close this. Okay, now I want to copy this piece of code. And paste it here and one more time okay now here I want to set this 3 to 2 and this 3 to 1 after that here I want to remove this 2 line because the this banner type is one line banner okay and it is going to be two line banner and let me remove this 3 and I want to add this 2 instead of 3 this will be 1 and this will be 2 and let me run this bannerYT.py file so guys if you click for 2 line banner here we got a banner of two line and if you click for one line banner okay here we got a banner of one line okay so i hope you got the idea how to use banner on python tv and kvm okay so guys that's all today's video keep watching goodbye